sport and community in general, who started a tournament around this time last year that honestly made this whole thing happen and kicked it into gear and got a lot of people interested in the randomizer, which is okay, really uh, cool. So thanks to them. To... The second person okay, I want to uh, shout out. It's about to... Here we see it's a scene that we're on okay. the cutscenes. Here we see a scene that we're on the cutscenes. And later in the game, like in the mid game, like game, like in the mid game we'll join us we're going, going to have this scene that will join us, in, we're going to have this scene that will join us in, in some of the dungeons. In the vanilla game, it's a bit oof. So. Yeah. So. Uh. Two other people I want to shout out real quick is Efticus, who made the ROM that we're using, and Capypara, who made the randomizer, and a ROM hacking tool called Sky Temple that the randomizer is based off of. Uh, I'm going to explain a few things real quick. So uh, me and Yoshi are going to be picking female in the opening starter list, and uh, Zeb and uh Niffle are going to be picking male so that we can get a little bit of a difference, hopefully, in who... Uh, the starting Pokemon are. Stats in this game are weird, so we're probably not going to be picking the Pokemon that you expect unless you know this game very well. Uh, with that, mm -hmm. is all the runners ready to go? Yep. Yeah, I believe so. All right. I'll give us a count in three, two, one. Good, Good luck, luck, gamers. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. All right. So again, I'm going female. Oh my god. Oh n ooh. Oh my god. Oh n ooh. Uh, <laughs> there is some ghost stuff here. There is some ghost stuff here. Uh, um, uh, am I prepared to do uh, this? Am I prepared to do this? No, I'm not. Oh, Yoshi. Yeah? There's Naltaria and the partners. Yo. Uh, <laughs> wait. Uh, I don't have an Altaria. No. What did oh, you no, pick as your main? The, it's, I picked your bloom. Oh, yeah, flying type. Dang it. I forgot to, okay. how to do menus here. I forgot to, how to do menus here. So what are we doing now? So, so what are couple, we doing now? So a couple things that are happening happening off the bat. First off, we can talk about some funny uh, stats things later on in the route. But um, initially, what you're going to be noticing is that everyone's going to be switching uh, their... Um, settings to make the game move a little bit faster and probably to adjust a screen on DS that you don't see because the bottom screen is the only important one in the run. But there is like stats on the top screen that we use. Ooh. Um. <laughs> um. <laughs> uh, Zebus has uh, Echo. Shunota, I think. Uh, Maybe. Eh, whatever. Don't worry about it. I took yeah. a, I took a look at uh my HP and decided to reset. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Don't <laughs> yeah. About it. yeah. Don't worry about it. But I'm not a punk, so I'm gonna stick to my uh. So I'm gonna stick to the uh, female list. Man, he's oh, wait, how did I notice this guy? Um, so we have a common saying in uh in uh the PMD Discord that is uh don't mess with Chadot because it's Chadot. And Chadot is actually really good in this game. I'm giving up. That's I'm giving up I, anything useful. I did not find anything useful. Uh, do you dungeon. want to explain give up strats uh, then, Zeb? The um, yeah. The, uh, the game, in the second dungeon can, of the oh no. vanilla game, you can... You can if, oh no. You can... If you die twice... Oh my god, I'm broken. If you find... In a row in the if you dungeon, die, I mean, you twice you in a row in the second dungeon, cutscene, you are... Kind of secret, find a cutscene, kind of secret, where the kill master gives you two revives. No, a revive and the max elixir. And an orberry. And an orberry, right. Because we don't find that many revives here. That's a real useful item to have. So we just give up in the second dungeon twice and we get it. Yeah, and that's not exactly like a marathon safety thing. That's just a general safety thing because uh, 
one thing I will say for people who play a lot of randomizers, this isn't quite like your normal randomizer. Honestly, it's more akin to like a challenge run than like a true like item randomizer kind of deal. Because like while everything is randomized, it also it also makes you have to be like hyper aware of what things in the ROM can potentially be threatening and what things can kill you. But uh, hint, the the answer is everything. Everything can kill you. Um. But yeah, so this uh this randomizer started as a um. Zeb's audio is there twice, I think, is what chat says. I don't know if anyone from tech is um, listening like, there. Um, um, but this uh this randomizer started as like a tournament last year that we held. Um once we found this Sky Temple randomizer that was really nice. And uh that tournament was started, like I said, by Hauk and Like a Noob. And once we got it off the ground, the developer of Sky Temple, whose name is Capypara, absolutely loved the idea and made a very generous donation to the tournament's prize pool. In addition to the fact of that he set up a separate version of the randomizer specifically for us. So Capypara, Capypara has been absolutely way mm. more than generous. So uh, I don't think he's in chat but because he does more of like the ROM hacking side. Um, but in this randomizer was kind of just like a side product that he was working on. But uh, huge shout outs to him for making this happen. Thank you. Thank you. I don't think they are here. If I have, 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 So, uh, what did everybody get for Torchic. starters? P2 and Torchic. P2? Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so Porygon 2 oh. is very, very good. I think very good is not enough. I think very good is not enough. Uh. Yeah. And Porygon 1 is actually so good that we had to ban it. Like I said, <laughs> stats in this game make no sense. Um, some of the, some of the funny stories that we have are that, uh, Every evolution line for all of the starters are exactly the same. That includes Eevee. So every evolution has the exact same stats at all levels. Um, in addition to that, we found uh, in the first game, they way over... In the first Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game, they way overstatted Alakazam. And so they kind of uh, maybe overcorrected that. And at this point in the ROM, um, Machamp actually has higher special attack than Alakazam. And that stays true until about level 30 um, because the logic of this game is non-existent. Um, we also found out, because we were doing a lot when the tournament happened, we were doing a lot of digging into the stats of this game, trying to figure out what mains would be good. We also found out that Lickitung was so good that it had to be banned because until level 10, it has higher stats than Groudon. Don't worry about it. Lickitung, very threatening. <laughs> but yeah. But yeah, at this point, uh, with the development of this randomizer, the stats are very esoteric, so it's kind of hard to like know intuitively what's going to be good but the tier list is actually fairly simple to use and has a lot of information on it so if you just keep that open you're probably going to be flying i just one... got saved from a fisher by my type Ooh, let's go <laughs> <laughs> Another meme in this game is that uh, since I have this chat out, it's important to note that not all flying types are capable of flight because you'll notice like Porygon 2 has the ability to walk on water because he can fly because obviously Porygon 2 can fly, but uh, chat out does not because uh, birds can't fly. Everyone knows that.
Um, did Niffle stream stop? No, nope, uh... okay, never mind. I just, I have the stream open, so I'm just making sure. Okay, might have been a temporary glitch. You're good. Everything is fine of mine. It's all good. The Tari is in focus blast is taking its while, but hopefully Mold doesn't get the job done. Yeah. That's one of the other things with PMD in general, if you've never run a PMD game, we don't actually have a way of turning off move animations. So sometimes <laughs> like moves that would be very good are actually very bad because they're very slow. Definitely like Focus Blast and Aura Sphere are some of them. Perhaps it's a good time to start mentioning uh, rare fossils. Rare fossils? Who has rare fossils? I have plenty. <laughs> well, then you go ahead and talk about it. I see, I see. So in this game, um, I don't know if it was added in to balance out the difficulty a bit, because it can be a tad difficult. Uh, there are these throne items that are called rare fossils, and they spawn sometimes a lot, sometimes they don't. You just gotta go with the flow. The key fact about these is that they deal a flat 100 damage to everything, which is essential enough to one-shot any enemy. Only downside is that they're in limited supply, so you have to know when to use them and when not to use them really yeah so a lot of the skill involved in this randomizer is simply knowing when it is okay to use rare fossils and how many you need to complete the rest of the game not to mention that we call this i i just realized we haven't actually talked about this um we call this race call uh the 10 dungeon blitz because we only do the first 10 dungeons of the game so in the vanilla game that takes you up to the point where you fight Groudon. <clears throat> um and obviously like i will say this to anybody who is in chat and thinks that this idea is kind of cool um the this randomizer i find to be extremely accessible i mean it kind of depends what kind of times you're shooting for early on but you know if you keep your resources open and try to play safe this is definitely something that you can do with very little experience in the pokemon mystery dungeon franchise so if you're interested join the pmd discord we'll get you set up Uh, yeah, we can hear. <clears throat> gotcha. gotcha. Oh, luck. I think I muted myself. Oh. <laughs> All right. I don't know when. Finally, rare fossils. Oh my gosh, it's taking me so long to find. I have found so many fossils, like, it's it's not even funny. Oh no. I have six! <laughs> and I have a worse maid! Mmm, <laughs> that sounds to me like, you know, oh, an yeah, issue with skill. It. No! <laughs> oh no, the skill issues, they're appearing. Oh no! Oh, oh I no. found the, I found the bait scarf. The bait scarf. The bait scarf. Oh, warp scarf. Yeah. Warp scarf's great. It's a bait, and you know it. You should use it for stream value. Any Wait. warpers in chat? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you say that I should give content? Content. <laughs> <laughs> What is this garbage tier layout? Ah. <laughs> I got a dead yeah. end. A very, very long dead end. <laughs> so, uh, we haven't um, talked about this yet, but one of the other like big skills that you acquire in this randomizer to help you go fast is knowing the different kinds of layouts that the randomizer can give you. Um, so, for instance, we have like the ladder layout, beetle layout... Uh, that we'll probably mention when one of us sees it. Um, 
but those like the several different floors even though they are somewhat randomly generated a lot of them follow certain patterns um that once you pick up on you can start to use that knowledge to kind of help you figure out where the rooms are and play certain layouts differently like for instance there's one layout that i call the tardis layout where all the rooms are in the middle and there's a big hallway on the outside so it just gives you like the idea that if you can stay on the inside of that layout you'll find all the rooms faster oh secret stairs appear sometimes if you're lucky yeah convenient Oh no. I think I'm dead here. Already Die? Dying is slow. I've I've already died. <laughs> well. But yeah, so um recognizing those layouts is is one of the big skills that you start to learn here. Um So if anybody like runs into a particular layout that they recognize, feel free to shout it out. I'm in this moment in that layout where there are eight rooms in the middle. Eight rooms in the middle. TARDIS layout. Like I was talking about. <laughs> Guys, I think I'm gaming. Oh, no. Um, Where are you at? I'm starting craggy. Oh, my gosh. I mean, sorry, uh, not Craggy Coast. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, Questionable Reservoir. Let's go. <laughs> um, so one of the other things that the randomizer does is it randomizes the uh, names of the dungeons, which can result in some funny things sometimes. Like pepperoni is one of the adjectives in uh, in the list, so you can have like the pepperoni cave. Because why not? Which is great. It's I have great. also just entered the questionable reservoir. Oh, oh no. my god, what a gaming! Oh, no. Are you we now have smart. our good friend Cyndaquil here. Let's go, yep. Cyndaquil. Cyndaquil can absolutely troll you. Uh, Yoshi, you want to talk about it a bit? Yeah, so. The flashbacks. We have. Whenever you get into uh, Craggy Coast and Mount Horn, oh. you're getting this extra partner here who's the Bidu for the expedition. And this partner can have absolute garbage, which you can't control. You can't control anything about this third partner's moves. You can't control what they do. So, if, uh, like, for example, yesterday when I was doing practice, I had a Togekiss that had Trick Room, which, like, Ooh. just changes your <laughs> speed at random, which is not fun. And also Hail, which was very annoying because uh like weather effects are just so slow yeah a so lot of absolute chaos yeah if you're not familiar with pmd uh any kind of weather effects last for the entire floor and so it can be really brutal in addition to just taking up time like they are actually a threat and usually you'll do anything to get rid of them and, and then you have this partner who just keeps spamming them instead yeah fun I think I have Illuminate as my ability. Oh no. Oh no, that's bad. Oh no. So most of the... There are several abilities that are possible for the randomizer to give you that are kind of bad. We've banned most of them at this point, though. Yeah. You may wonder sometimes why we ban so many things. It's to make the game fun, more than anything. Yeah. Because yeah, everyone is going to reset over a Pokemon with Hustle, for example. Yeah. We've also we've also banned several things, like, just since the randomizer came up, because they caused, like, a problematic issue. Like, for instance, the biggest thing... Um, who, who wants to tell... Who wants to tell the Memento story? Oh, no! <laughs> Memento. <laughs> well, during like the... Instant. Yeah. During one of the first matches of the tournament that happened earlier, like a year ago now, um, one of the partners had Memento as their move. I don't remember how it works in main game, but here, Memento teleports the user somewhere 
in the layout and it drains its HP. So imagine doing that with an AI yeah. partner that doesn't follow you. You can't <laughs> turn their moves off and spamming Memento all the way for 14 floors. Yeah, it was a it was an Aerodactyl, and specifically Memento, like it not only drains your HP, it actually just sets your HP to one. So you have this partner that every now and again is randomly teleporting itself somewhere, putting its HP at one, and if it dies, you lose the the ROM, basically. <laughs> Or if it dies in the dungeon, you have to restart that dungeon, yep. specifically. You cannot have your partner die. Yeah, you can't allow Any of them to die, which is why it's so annoying. Because if it has something that is prone, making it accident prone, let's say, um, <laughs> it's going to be problem. Has anyone found any of the cool uh, scopes? Oh yeah, I found a white ray. That's about I it. I said a cool scope. <laughs> and yeah, I'm confirming, there's... no, <laughs> I haven't. There's a lot of items that you can find that you can hold that'll help you out a little bit. The biggest one in this randomizer is X-ray specs which allow you to see basically everything on the floor in terms of like items and enemies. So you can't tell like where all the rooms are, but you kind of get a feel. And also it helps you avoid enemies so that you have to fight less because fights are slow. The other one sense. I'm usually looking for is uh, lock on specs, which help your throwing accuracy, which is really great for rare fossils. Mm -hmm. Rare okay, fossils cool. have about a 25% chance of missing. And obviously like, Rare fossils are the big safety tool in this ROM. Like, in addition to helping you go fast, if you're stuck, usually rare fossils are the way to get you out of death. So. When did my chat out learn fling? And why is it using oh, no. it? Stop it! <laughs> Don't mess with chat out. <laughs> I. I but he needs to be messed with. Don't! I forgot you know to what take happened last my... time? <laughs> I forgot to take care of my split, so I have no idea where I am. Um, don't worry once... about it. Yeah, don't worry about it. Um, <laughs> one thing I think we forgot to say is that some items are free on the shop, regardless oh, yeah. of what they say. <laughs> like, so rare of... fossils. Yeah. So one of the best things about Rare Fossils is that if Kecleon ever... So in the code, um, these Rare Fossils come from a late game dungeon called like Golden Cave or something. And any of the items that come from there, you are not allowed to sell to Kecleon. So if Kecleon ever gets a hold of them, for instance, because they're randomly given to him, then he just doesn't know what to do. And if you walk by and ask for them, he'll just give them to you. Um, I just realized that I turned that move on. That was a bad idea. <laughs> so my torch chick is level 25. What? Go I mean, six. 26. 26? How many golden <laughs> seeds did you find? Three. What? I've gotten one and I thought I was lucky. Wow. I got, I got a whopping zero. I have none! All right. <laughs> Zebs, why don't you... Or, uh... Who should explain what golden seeds are? Probably the golden stonking <laughs> three golden seeds user here. Okay, golden seeds are basically um, five rare, rare candies. candies. <laughs> My gosh, I just found oh. one. Okay, cool. Wow, no, I'm, I'm I'm just being left out here. Okay, I see how it is. I don't need golden seeds. You're right. You don't. You should... They are optional, like revives. Make <laughs> revives, you don't need I them. do need revives, unfortunately. Uh, I have I've already used a two. ladder layout, if anyone uh, want to see what that is. Oh yeah, ladder layout! 
It 100% looks like a ladder, and Yoshi totally agrees with me. <laughs> I unfortunately have been giving up more to this argument just by the fact that I don't have much of a better name. I just call yeah. it Sky Tower layout. They are notorious for being for forcing you to backtrack like so many times, just checking one room, next room, next room, next room, and so on and so forth. They're really annoying. Yeah, the randomizer tends to give them to us a little bit more often than maybe it should, which is the only reason why we don't really like them. Otherwise, like, it, it encourages really good movement, so it's actually, like, from a viewership standpoint, like, a pretty good floor to see. But it is slow. Don't die, don't die, don't die. Let's go. <laughs> Cyndaquil, 8 HP in a dream? No, what did- uh... Hey, ladder layout, let's go. Give me back, give me back. For anybody who's wondering, I call it ladder layout because uh, there's like two bars going across in the middle and like a bunch of rungs going through the middle to connect them. So like there's these two long hallways and a bunch of connecting hallways. So it looks like a ladder. And if you disagree, you're wrong. Hey, I disagree. <laughs> well, you're wrong. If you I'm disagree, not. you should be submitting better names in the chat so that we, we can get rid of ladder layout <laughs> as a name. Please. Sky tower layout. Because this is nah, a, in the sky nah, tower. I don't know nah, what a sky tower. Nah. I know what a dark hill. <laughs> well, you should play BRT. I thought it was not the most. You shouldn't. <laughs> you shouldn't play BRT. Don't tell people these things. They're gonna take you seriously. That's it, yeah. No. Just because yeah. you have to suffer, Zebus, doesn't mean we all have to join you. <laughs> Alright, I'm done with this stupid thing. It didn't die, what the heck? <laughs> Skill issue? I mean, that's usually the case with Strive. Door. No, it, yeah, you're right. <laughs> oh, this is a ladder. Ladder! Yeah. <laughs> Alright, status update. Where's everyone at? I mean, Steam Cave. Mount Horn. Steam Cave! Oh my Steam God. Cave, listen, we were here to showcase right. the game, not not break it. Like, we, we, we want to show to people, you know? <laughs> I'm trying, but I'm spawning on the stairs. It's insane. I'm in, around the end of Mount Horn. We, we set an estimate for an hour. Please slow down. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, the estimate. <laughs> we're going to make Zebus do a second ROM and say that he lost because he didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Shady, you're wrong. <laughs> Someone ban him. <laughs> Bro, Tom, don't do this. Jesus Christ, you heard a lot. I think I'm near the end of Craggy. By the way, I realized I never I said it. I think. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know things. Do you not know how many floors or do you not know where you are? <laughs> I'm on the ninth floor of I think Craggy. Oh. Gosh, <laughs> uh I'm just gonna fopple you. <laughs> don't uh, tell me I ran out of apples. Oh no. Oh wait, no, I didn't. Okay. Don't starve. Don't starve. Um. Hmm. Going to this. I'm going to this. This is getting a little bit more threatening than I'd like. Um. I forgot how to do this. I like Another how Miss Nicole note. has more health than my entire team. Ladders aren't horizontal, but if you make it hor vertical, it would be a ladder. Have you ever put a ladder on the ground in a different orientation? <laughs> I will stand by this. I've been fighting for this long enough. I will keep doing it. <laughs> I 
Anyway, we were playing for second, right? Because we already knew who was gonna win. <laughs> we have we have an hey. hour to fill out. We're good. <laughs> hey, look, my man. My expected value in this race was last place. If I don't get that, it's a win. <laughs> Where to stand? Uh, Believe in yourself, man. No, have you seen me? <laughs> yes. Why do you believe in me? Because someone else. Because he's, he's already winning. He, he can do whatever he wants. <laughs> you don't have to say it like that. <laughs> Thank you for the raid. Oh, Sento. Thanks for the raid. Yeah. Oh, uh, I we just... should note that uh, that tournament that we've been talking about that happened last year, Zebu's came in third. I lost to Zebu's in round two and got eliminated. Um, Niffle, Fine. did you participate? I forgot, honestly. I didn't. Uh, okay. I wasn't around uh, when signups were done. Okay. Uh, and the winners were uh, Cobral, the father of PMD speedrunning, as he is called. Uh, he never three in second, says. who we've talked about, and Zebu's in third. He never lost. Yeah. <laughs> Just doesn't lose. Cobral, Cobral is is the winner of all the races. If you if you put him in a race, he's going to win. Put a and, game, uh, put a timer, and he's winning. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, the fastest anybody has ever completed a seed of this would be by secure account in about, I think it's like 1920 or 1940, something like that. What in 2022, man? Hmm. <laughs> ah. Uh, what do I oh, do? Oh, this here? is my uh, this is my TARDIS layout here. I swear, I must have lost like two or three full minutes just to watching. Focus blast animations and frenzy. Point. <laughs> <sighs> oh yeah, what uh, moves does the P two have? Ah, uh, um, I got frustration. Second, um, That's all I care about. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> I have bite, leak, razor leaf, and agility. Agility, dang! Agility. <laughs> Um, Niffle, why don't you explain frustration for people who haven't played PMD? Right, 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 good point. Uh, let me just try and actually hit this Pokemon. Okay, gotcha. So frustration <laughs> and the move return as a counterpart uh, works a little differently in PMD. So it just, they just do uh, some, some fixed amount of damage based on your IQ. And what is IQ then? Well, IQ is a little... Like, gimmick system exclusive to PMD where you get extra special abilities that are just, some are passive, some are more active, Wait. by uh, eating gummies. And gummies are little plastic shim gummy things. They're Did so you... weird. Oh, oh my gosh. What's your time? Anywho. So, so two or three. Oh my gosh. Man. <laughs> he just goes here. I'm the... sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I said I was gaming. <laughs> well, back on Earth, where we know how, where we play the game like normal people. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> That's fine, it's fine. It is what it is. <laughs> We're playing for second. <laughs> so in normal people land, frustration does damage when you have low IQ, and since you always start at zero, it does max fixed damage of 45. So it's really nice for just one-shotting essentially everything in the early game. Yeah, in the early game, it'll uh, it'll one-shot everything, and then later on in the game, we tend to try and link moves, which is also another mechanic exclusive to PMB, where basically you get to use two moves at the same time. Um... And uh, if you have frustration in your move set paired with anything, you probably one shot. So uh, Plus, another trick it doesn't that, miss. Yeah, it has one hundred percent accuracy. So unlike most of the moves in this game, yes, and nothing. it also has a it also has a slow animation. So it's just it's just the move. Yeah. Uh, 
Okay, what do we? Uh, another thing that I uh, figured that I uh, was using there. So, uh, in addition to Kecleon not knowing what to do with rare fossils, he doesn't know what to do with anything in the dungeon that normally spawns rare fossils in the vanilla game. So, if he ends up with a golden seed, he also doesn't know what to do. So, I just I just took it from him. I just took it off his hands. He actually paid me to take it because I didn't have room in my bag for it. <laughs> <laughs> Good guy, Kecleon. Such a great guy, Kecleon. Such a pal. Giving us stuff for free. Oh my gosh. Where are you all, by the way? Chat? I'm in upper steam. Oh my gosh. What? I got some horrible lands then. I'm still in foggy. <laughs> my guy, I'm still in horn. <laughs> I don't even remember what? which <laughs> tile set which was what. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess I'm playing for third. <laughs> I was well, always you're, you're... playing for fourth, I knew this! <laughs> That's a given if you're playing against. Oh, never mind. Don't worry, if you're Whoa. playing against Strife, you're going to win, it's fine. <laughs> hey! <laughs> I didn't want to say it, I didn't want to humiliate you in public, you know? No, it's Actually, fine. I do. I'm on I, here. Do. I do. I <laughs> do. <laughs> No, you're right. You're wrong. Actually, you do want to humiliate me in public. I, I really do want to insult you. I've been waiting for this <laughs> moment. That's <laughs> right. But do you have one, a couple of them? Uh, I think. Uh, yeah. It. I. I think. Let me see. We've probably done this almost every Sunday for most of the year, and I think I've won like twice, maybe. <laughs> If that... Zebus, how many times do you think in the history of me knowing you have I beat you at rando? I say it's some, It's definitely less than 10. <laughs> that I remember? Two? <laughs> Hot facts. <laughs> He's probably not wrong, though. <laughs> Final floor for me, and I got a staff floor. Let's go. <coughs> oh yeah, I, I don't think quiet. we. I don't think we said something about the bosses. Right. They have oh, a yeah. set amount of HP. The first one, it was a uh, what is one? Venusaur? Ibisaur? Right, I'm done. GG. 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 The first boss has exactly a hundred HP, so it dies with a single red fossil. Um, the last one has five hundred HP. So he dies with five red fossils. Yeah, and that number is the same no matter what the Pokemon actually is. So you can end up with a Groudon with 500 HP. Well, not really because Groudon's banned. But you can end up with a Groudon or... Or, I... as one time happened to our good friend Halkyrie, you could end up with a Kakuna that has 500 HP. And Draco Meteor, don't forget that one. <laughs> and Draco Meteor. <laughs> and kills you. And you have to do the entire dungeon again. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm not worrying about them, nothing. So uh, this Cyndaquil also has one of the other moves that is somewhat problematic for Bidoof to have. Uh, I don't know if anyone else has run into this problem, but it has Earthquake and Earthquake hurts. It, it um, hurts whether you're on its team or not. <laughs> I did not actually know this information. That's that's great. I'm glad that I'm <laughs> glad that no one else had this problem. That, that, I, you guys had a good experience. I'm glad. Why, why are we still talking about Cyndaquil, by the way? <laughs> um, <laughs> wait, wait. Nipple, that was kind of brutal. <laughs> that was pretty mean. <laughs> Damn. I'm on the last floor, my guy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I claimed that I like this randomizer. I never claimed I was good <laughs> at it. <laughs> so I just realized I've been playing this mostly all wrong because I had like a stockpile of like 35 rare fossils. And so yeah. I really should have been just chucking them. <laughs> I have three. I mean, 
I have what if you need them? To, uh... Yeah, what if I need them in like these last three floors? <laughs> three floors? I, uh, yeah, I'm in Upper uh, Steam Cave. Okay. The green dinosaur was not the peak. Well, I'll tell you what. <laughs> the first thing I took was the fucking was the fucking X plowed, and that wasn't the peak either. <laughs> <laughs> At least you have a, a starter, right? <laughs> yeah. All the starters, all the starters in this game are usually good. Uh, they start out really tanky, and their damage usually comes in later. Except for Totodile, because um, for some reason Chunsoft just loves Totodile and thinks that he deserves to be better than everyone, and so he just is. <laughs> like in every single game. I think Totodile is like. One of the best things you can pick here? Yeah. Or something like that? I mean, it's how extremely many... extremely broken. How many PMD games is Totodile the one of the possible main choices? Um, Jodo games? PMD? Oh, no, I meant, I meant PMD um, ex exactly. Um, um... You could say that for a lot of the starters, then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> huh. Good question. I don't know. Because I know... Totodile is the choice in, uh, Totodile at least used to be a, a popular choice for the super vanilla, vanilla run. He, he's starting to Round make on his. Time. On time. Yes. Uh, Totodile oh, has started to make his presence known as a good RTDX starter. Like, mind. Yeah. All but Gates. Yeah, Totodile is viable as a starter in every game but Gates. And he's only not a viable starter in Gates because he doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's also used in Time Darkness, I think. Oh, yeah. Dang. Okay, oh, this man, may dang. not be fine. Uh, um, hmm. I'm, I think you need to get up close and personal, but... You have a revive, you're fine. Oh, I wait. already used my revive. Compable? Alright, I'm using the fun map. I'm using the fun item. <laughs> the problem is it's not gonna be enough because it's not gonna last enough turns. <laughs> you use it on the Please attack me! <laughs> oh my god. Okay, hold on. I'm, I'm giving so Strike a chance here. That's what I'm doing. I gotta change these tactics. Don't worry, I'll Gun. waste it. <laughs> um okay, what do I have? Hold in. <laughs> Stop attacking my Bulbasaur! But but Blastoise! Oh my god. Did I just say what you... <laughs> I said Bulbasaur? Are you actually dead? Nice Bulbasaur. Are you dead? I am somehow alive. Still running? I will not be for long. Oh, I missed the fossil again. Oh no! <laughs> I missed like three oh, no. fossils. Um, oh, okay, hold on. No. Hold on. Okay. You I'm still going have to like attack. 300 damage to deal. <laughs> yeah, this is not going very well. I would like to. Please, menus. Run away, please. And then I'm going to attempt to use the orange berry on myself. Please run in the right direction. That is not. Okay, use it on me. I'm gonna throw it. Okay. Oh god. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, we're playing. I don't know if I can His his special is down, his special is down. I think you might actually have it. Um Yeah, I think you should <sighs> just attack. Yeah, I think you should just go for it. Let's go! GG <laughs> GG That was insane. <laughs> GG. Oh. oh wow. <laughs> what an ending. <laughs> Ending? We still have 20 minutes! <laughs> you could have literally <laughs> done it twice! <laughs> Anywho, um, Strife, you still have 16 minutes and something, so you just... I'm gonna finish, so... Yeah, he's gonna... F just take your time. Uh, if there's any questions in chat, feel free to ask. Um, I'm sure the other runners can answer them or anything. Uh, I will mention, uh, someone pointed out that I, uh... I, I, for a brief second, saw a Reviser Seed on my, um, 
on my game, which is cursed as hell. Uh, <laughs> so there are like gag items in this game that are meant to trick you into thinking that they are other items. So obviously reviver seeds is like one of the most important things in this game. But if you change the one of the V's into an S, it becomes a reviser seed. And uh, if you die while holding a reviser seed, you're, you attempt to revive, and then the characters in the game go like, that wasn't a reviver seed, that was a reviser seed! And then they all die laughing. <laughs> and it wastes yeah, time. Much. It's cringe. <laughs> Dies of cringe. Uh, I'm looking at the other starters, and... Pinsir has double quick attack, it seems. Oh my gosh. Oh, that would have been Why? a really good choice. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna but peek at Stardust as well. Is Pinsir actually a good pick? <laughs> Probably not. Yeah. I but think Pinsir stats are garbage. If I had to because... guess, Pinsir stats are garbage. I have not had good luck with moves, and also I haven't found a link box like all wrong. So, hmm, what's a good a entry level entry PMB level. category? Um, sorry, go ahead. No, no, you go, you go. Uh, I guess it kind of depends what you're looking for, because there's a lot of different um ways to enjoy PMD. Um. I personally am a big fan. Yeah, Fast Sky Any% percent is probably the best place to start if you're interested in, like, the classic PMD games. So, um, Fast Sky is just literally a patch, community-made patch of Sky that speeds up the cutscenes. Um, so it's still a uh, approachable thing. I would actually say... Um, because uh, I just thought of this now, and we were actually talking about this yesterday. Um, the actual, I think, correct place to start is uh, one of the special episodes from Sky. Uh, just because it's a short, it's a short run. It'll help you get your basics down. If you want to start in an any percent category, Fast Sky is the way to go. But the special episodes in Sky are like really nice short like let you learn some of the mechanics and get a feel for what it's like and then jump to the any percent categories if you're more interested in those uh the remakes that are on switch are also very good speed runs that's my favorite category to run um but that is a controversial take i will admit that but they are within what? like reasonable times to play it because i i started yeah. on time darkness and and my first run was just like well here's six hours of gameplay well or three hours of cutscenes, but Probably not the best place to start, but it's what I did. <laughs> but what about the best game? Blue Rescue Team. No. No Wonder Mail. No Quick Save. <laughs> Don't trust the streamer. He wants you to play Pim. <laughs> <laughs> I did not say that at all. <laughs> I, I would actually not advise starting with Bidu. Uh, I would probably advise... Uh, is today's OMG probably the best one? Probably either today's OMG or the Igly Buff one. I would say the Igly Buff one. Yeah. Um, on the today's Igly OMG tends to be one. harder, especially for the boss battle. Mm -hmm. Theme Charm is like a possibility if you try some of the safer strats. It's actually somewhat consistent, but you're not going to get any like super high leaderboard times with it. Team Charm is my favorite, so. Well, so, yes, now that I think of it. We're out of time. <laughs> Wait, are we out of time, actually? Nah, I'm just joking. I was about to say. <laughs> so, look, I may have stopped my timer, but I don't. Uh, uh. <laughs> oh, fuck, Shadow Force. Uh, okay. Wait, why am I fighting? I have fossils. <laughs> Look, to be fair, if we found a way to cut out that cutscene, Badoof would probably be like a decent starter like choice. 
Actually, never mind. The Jirachi fight it, is stupid. It's stupid, and it only has five minutes of actual gameplay, and there's constant hail. Yeah. Never mind. That's that's cringe. <laughs> and that's and most well every single category we said is heavily RNG dependent. If you oh. want to play something more execution based, I think Blue Rescue Team on Restricted is the best. Yeah, because it that's really... everything manipulated. It really depends on what you want. Like one of the best things about the PMD series is that they all have like the same basic core, but like it they each of the games flexes very different muscles. Like there's an unrestricted category that basically you're manipulating RNG on like every single floor. So if you're just if you just want to be like very highly execution focused, that's your way to go. Um, super Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon is actually very good for like if you're interested in more adaptability kind of stuff because you have a uh, I should say specifically Super with Wonder Mail um, <clears throat> because you're constantly managing your inventory to and what things you do and don't have access to to make the ROM playable basically well the run playable. But yeah, and then uh, RTDX has its own kind of thing because it has a very different strategy called split up strats that is used for basically the entire thing and makes the game wildly different. Um, I I don't know anything about the Gates run, but I know people like that for uh, specifically because Axu is very broken and there's a lot of like animation canceling you can do in gates so gates is good too i mean like it, it kind of does depend is yeah and gates is gate the cutscenes in gates will give you enough time to read the guide <laughs> oh, no. the best the best way to play gates to infinity is to do a speed run yeah you can see the story at the same time. Oh my god, Farfetch was stacked. Did Thunderbolt, you... Dragonfalls, Acid, and Poison Powder. Well, that, that last one, no. Not that much. Uh, 51.30 for my time. Fritz. That's, that's horrible. Oh my gosh, that's horrible. Is it? Yeah. It's horrible. I hated it. Yeah. And I hated that. <laughs> oh my what? gosh. I think that's yeah. everything. The last thing I will say is um for anyone interested in this, uh I will say that this randomizer is very approachable. Um, like I said, it is a bit of a PMD challenge run, so if you know absolutely nothing about PMD you're probably going to want to like do a casual play first. But if you're interested in this randomizer, it is very fun. We do weekly races at 4 p.m. Eastern time on um, on the PMD Discord. I will drop a link in chat to that right now. And there are also a bunch of resources uh, mostly created by me that uh, are there to help you kind of figure out how to do it. And uh, I think that's about all I had. Yep, that, I think that's it. Yeah. Cool.